All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Here we go. We had a little disaster today. We noticed that Claire was limping. She's favoring that leg. Um, we've looked at it. We don't see any real, any real um, injury there. There's no swelling. We've looked at the hoof. Um, there's no you know, obvious trauma inside and underneath the hoof, but we've called the vet. So we've got to get this cow separated from the herd put it to a little safe spot, a little holding pen so the vet can look at, look at it. Um, and also the plan was to separate her um, from the steer and the bulls, uh, the bull and the steers for the winter time anyways to a pen um, on the east side of the barn. So anyways, it was time to move her. The other dis disability that this cow has is that she's blind. She feels her way around the pasture following the other cows and the sounds of the creek behind me. So we intercepted her as she came down to the creek for a drink of water. And uh, anyways, we got the halter on really easy and now it's time to get her moved. So slow process, one step at a time. Come on, girl, come on, girl. We'll keep you updated, guys. Um, we'll let you know what the vet finds when she gets here. We'll do an update to this video. Here, I'm showing her the second crop. Show it to her for right there. That a girl. Maybe a little hole. Yeah, that might be a problem right here. There's a little hole right here. Will it like come pouring out? If there's, it's not. Just fine. Out, so. Yeah, I think so. She's <laughs> snoring. Well, hey, when you don't have a $30,000 hydraulic shoe, yeah. it sucks. Yeah. 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 It really hurts. How come it's black? Because it's still the rotten dead oh. tissue. It was trying to do a. Can that was the that? tract of the infection. Okay. Crap, it's still gonna go in there, that freaking bar. There, now it's getting. a deep one the hole's getting bigger though hey kind of yep. the black part the black part is so hopefully i'm getting to the 
chamber portion. I don't really want to cut any more of her toe off. That's because the bowl is probably put in place. That's all it took was that last little bit. Instead of oh, see that big freaking hole. It is, and it's black and. So with how hard, yeah, there's a rotten piece right there. With how hard your foot was, and, it was taking a while to come out. Oh yeah, out. that would have taken weeks to blow out, and you would have been soaking her foot. And All right, everybody, I'm back out with Belle and Claire and now Rosie. We brought, we brought over Claire in the first part of this video. Um, the vet came out and uh, unlike, unlike myself and some other YouTubers, the vet wasn't too keen on, uh, on uh, a lot of screen time, FaceTime. So I've done my best to sort of edit out um, her face and uh, some of the things that we talked about, but I'm gonna do my best to give you a farmer's example of what happened to Claire, okay? Um, the, the wet, moist, damp conditions uh, in the swamp where, where she was uh, had access to on the other side of the road um, could have led to the issues with her hoof. And then of course the freezing ground and then the competition around a round bale feeder with the bull and with 15 other cows led to a, um, I don't even know what to call it, um, like a bruise basically to the underside of the hoof, okay? And then that bruise uh, got trapped in the hoof and, um, and of course led to an infection that couldn't uh, get out of there. So what the vet found was a tract, a tract of an infection that was going up inside the front part of her hoof, all right? Um, the first part of the video, she was using like a, a squeezing tool to check for soft spots in the hoof where the infection might be close to the surface and then it would blow out was her term. Um, but as she as she did more investigating, Val, as she did more investigating, um, she told us that it would have been a long time with that cow suffering uh, before that infection would have got out. But the vet was able to uh, clip off the toenail, which you've seen in the video, and uh, and sort of relieve that pressure in the hoof. And uh, I would say within two days uh, of the vet being here, she was walking around putting weight on it as if um, as if it never happened. So we brought over some of her herd mates, Claire. Uh, Claire was here by herself for that first few days, and uh, there was some bellering going on and some bawling with her calf. And uh, so we brought over a couple of her herd mates, and others will follow when the weather gets uglier. Um, and so what, what what we're looking at here is putting out a round bale without a round bale feeder, without that ring around the round bale. So they've been using it to uh, for bedding and eating. And uh, this is probably going on four days, so they've done they've done a good job of cleaning that round bale up. But as far as Claire goes and that hoof abscess, it was absolutely um, the right call to call the vet. You could see the agony she was in when she was walking in that first part of the video. And uh, I mean, I'm not going to call it a Christmas miracle, but it's pretty close. We've we've had bad luck um, a couple years ago. Um, with a cow that had a similar similar symptoms, similar uh, um, a showing of what what was going on with the foot, we we didn't wait on that case, and the vet came and that cow didn't make it. So we didn't want to waste any time when we seen Claire struggling to walk like that. So from the time we noticed it till being treated by the vet was one day, um, and we.
we had called, but the vet, you can't always get a vet when you want it. So you gotta basically take a number and get in line. So anyways, we're, we're happy to report that Claire is walking without any, without any, um, any limp. And uh, it looks like she's gonna make a full recovery. So uh, we're happy about that. Folks, thanks for watching the video. If you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell. And uh, until next time, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching the channel. We'll catch you next time.